Right now, there are a lot of scattered thunderstorms. The good news is uh, not a lot of these have turned severe. So at least we are on, uh, it looks very active, but we're not getting massive hail or anything like that from this. We're going to start by zooming on first here into the Denver area. We're on the west side of town. We do have a little bit more activity. You can see some heavier rainfall, and there will be a chance mainly on the west side tonight and then down to the south of some heavier rainfall for us. As we head up to the northwest, you'll notice there's even a little bit of snow uh, close to Estes Park right now. Quite a bit of lightning near Kremlin right now, and then even some lightning close to the Vale area. Down to the southeast, though, this is where the bulk of the action is right now. A lot of lightning out there, a lot of thunder, and some really heavy rainfall mixed in there, too, all the way from Colorado Springs through Walsenburg or close to Walsenburg, and then out into parts of Los Animas and Baca counties. So because of that, we do actually have flash flood watches in place for parts of the Sangre de Cristos uh, down towards Walsenburg and into Los Animas County. So there's already been some flash flooding along some burn scars, so something to watch out for. And if you're wondering what these little uh, areas are, are blue up to the west. That's for uh, potential rapid snow melt over the next couple of days. So just uh, some precautionary areas that could see quite a bit on the western part of Colorado. So future cast for tonight, we're still going to continue to see that heavy rainfall. By midnight, most of this will clear out. If you do get the heavier rainfall, in some areas it may last uh, for a little while. In some areas it may move through pretty quickly. So uh, it won't uh, be super widespread. If you do get that rainfall, though, watch out for the potential for heavy rain. Tomorrow morning, we wake up to sunshine. And then in the afternoon hours, just a few isolated storms start to fire up. So tomorrow, not nearly as widespread with our precipitation, but the chance will still be out there for a few showers, and that will clear out very quickly into Thursday night. Our threat for severe weather tomorrow, again, those isolated storms don't look to turn severe, but heading up into the northwest, we don't often see severe thunderstorm outlooks for parts of Montana, into Idaho, and into uh, parts of Wyoming, and then parts of Houston tomorrow could see some very big thunderstorms. Even with the clouds, it's still pretty nice outside. 76 in Denver, 80 in Greeley, 68, though, in Boulder, with there's been some rain, 58 in Bailey, 80s out east, high country, 50s uh, and some 60s, even 72 in Avon, 82 in Grand Junction, 60 from our weather watcher Paul in northwest Gunnison. He said he had a little bit of rain today from some passing storms, 72 degrees here downtown, 78 earlier today out at DIA, 79 downtown, so almost a repeat of yesterday. We hit 78 yesterday out at DIA. Tonight, a lot of low to mid 50s for the front range out towards the eastern plains, high country, 30s and 40s, and then 40s to the 50s on the western slope. Tomorrow, about the same. 79 in Denver, 84 in Greeley, 70s, 80s out east, high country, 60s, 70s, and warmer on the western slope, 80s uh, from Craig all the way down towards Montrose. Now for your five-day forecast, we are looking at 84 on Friday. That's our warmest day of the week. There's a good chance for some isolated thunderstorms. And then heading into Saturday, it should be pretty nice, 82 degrees, maybe some isolated storms on Sunday with a passing front that will knock us down to the 60s. I'm